not gonna lie, I'm ready for 2022 to be over. <laughs> But I'm hoping I'm gonna get some incredible reading done in these last couple months. So let's chat about it. Hello friends, how are we doing? I don't know why I'm moving around. I'm just like in a good mood this morning. So we are two and a bit months from the end of the year. I <laughs> That is disgusting. I 2022 for me has been simultaneously long and difficult and has gone like that. But anyways, we're going to be talking today about the books that I'm hoping to still read before the end of the year and the end of year TBR tag. I believe this was started by Ariel Bissett. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she started it. A lot of the books that I am going to be reading, I've already planned out my November December content. I don't know what I'm going to be reading yet because I don't know what books are going to be chosen for the vlogs I've got coming up. So I'm pretty blind as to what I'm going to be reading, but we're going to chat about some of the books I'm hoping that I'm going to get to. Yeah, let's just start the tag, shall we? I'm like, I've got a skirt and I'm like, I feel like I'm in like a, I don't know, like a stage play, you know? Anyways, okay. <laughs> First question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Now, I don't do this. <laughs> if you guys know me, I very rarely, like, once I start a book, I'm finishing it. Pretty much. Like, I very rarely DNF, and I very rarely, like, put books down for another day. So the only two that I have, I am currently reading In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, so I suppose I still need to finish this. I'm gonna finish this today. I'm about 200 pages in. Plot twist, I'm really enjoying it. The vlog for this was supposed to go up today but I haven't even finished the first book and there's two other books in the vlog so that just wasn't gonna happen <laughs> but yeah this is I'm sure many of you know about a group of friends who went to college together and one of the friends was murdered and they're basically trying to figure out who murdered the friend in this book so yeah you'll hear my thoughts about that not next week now the vlog is having to be pushed back to the week after so you'll see my thoughts on that soon-ish. The only other book that I have started this year and not finished is The Mirror Season by Anna Marie McCamore. Now this was for a wrapped up vlog. I've never done this before. I've never not read the book that I unwrapped in a wrapped up vlog. But it was when I was struggling <laughs> emotionally, uh, mentally, and this book is very heavy. It's about two characters who are essayed at this party, both of them, and it's about them dealing with it and kind of their trauma and uh, one of the, the girl loses her magical gift because of the trauma that she's gone through. And I think I only read maybe I don't even know, like the first 50 pages. And I was like, I am not capable of reading this right now. <laughs> like I just knew I couldn't do it emotionally. Like I just couldn't handle it. So I ended up unwrapping a different book and reading it instead. I don't think I've ever done this with a book before, like put it down because I know it's not the right time. I don't tend to do that. Next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition you into the end of the year? So I did a full TBR, which I'll link, uh, start of September-ish, I think. And I'm doing a pretty good job of like making my way through that <laughs> list. I mean, all of those are like autumnal fall books. So I don't know if all of these were in that. I'm pretty sure they were. So I still really want to read The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. A lot of you have been telling me that I'm gonna love this. This is a carry retelling. Someone told me last night there's a podcast element to this, which might make it a shoe in for a five star already. Oh, I'm a positive bitch. Ooh. I know the audiobook's great, so I'm gonna read the audiobook. So, next week's vlog, <laughs> next Sunday's vlog, is now I'm having to film the clip this afternoon that will figure out what books I'm gonna read for it. And this is one, gonna be one of the nine in contention. I will read three of the nine. So it is con in contention to be read in that video. If not, I may read it in another one. Not sure yet, but um, yeah, hoping to get to this still. Babel was supposed to be the next book I read, but I have pushed the vlog that it's in back a week. So it is no longer the next book I'm reading. I'm a little bit sad. Like I am ready to read this. Everyone has been giving it five stars. I recently asked on Instagram, Twitter, and my YouTube community tab, what people's favorite book that they've read so far this year was. And like everyone said Babel. <laughs> I think Babel is like definitely the most popular answer. So I am gonna be reading this probably not next week, the week after now. I am very excited and like everyone's been loving it. Listen, dark academia, fantasy, magic, translation, colonization, like tearing, dismantling the institutions that are built on this blood. I'm excited. I'm excited for Earthquang to go there. 
because I know she always goes there. She's not afraid, she goes there. And then The Bullet the Mist by Richard Osman. Mysteries are very autumnal to me. And I'm so... <laughs> Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me. I'm very excited. Listen, I love this series so much. If you don't know, this is a series about this old group of friends at a retirement village who end up solving murders in real life. I think I read the first one in November last year. I read the second one earlier this year, but I feel like... I didn't love the second one as much. It was still five stars, but I didn't love it as much because I didn't read it in autumn. Like this is a November book to me, always. I feel like every book now, <laughs> now that I'm caught up with the series, I have to read it in November. Next question, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Let's get up my spreadsheet. I do have a spreadsheet of all of the new releases that I am excited for. Oh, a kind of like spooky autumnal pick. I'm excited for The Glass Witch by Lindsay Puckett. Lindsay is a author tuber on here and this is her middle grade debut, which is very exciting. This is a little bit hard to get my hands on in the UK. I think I'm gonna have to order it through Book Depository or something, but I would like to read that before the end of the year. Oh, I'm also really excited for Five Survive by Holly Jackson. This is Holly Jackson's first book outside of the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. It's more of like a thriller, I feel like, of these friends on this trip and I think they start dying or something. I know that this is told over the period of eight hours, I think, and you can like read it in time, which I'm definitely gonna try and do that in December. So those are probably the ones that I'm most excited for. I have a lot of like January books I'm excited for, like so many books coming out in January next year, but in terms of books coming out before the end of the year, those are probably the ones I'm most excited for. Oh, also, I did literally this morning just receive uh, The Restless Duck by Erica Waters, which I think has just come out. And this is pitched as Sadie meets Wilder Girls. Harper 360YA, what are you doing to me? <laughs> it's all right. I am buzzing for it. The Cloud Kiss Killer is dead. Now a true crime podcast is hosting a contest to find his bones. Shut up. Lucy was almost the serial killer's final victim. Carolina is a true crime fan who fears her own rage. Maggie is a psychology student who has a little bit too much to hide. All of them are looking for answers, for a new identity, for a place to bury their secrets. But there are more than bones hiding in the shadows. Sometimes the darkness inside is more frightening than anything the dead leave behind. <laughs> I do own Ghostwood Song by this author, but I think this is gonna be where I start. I love the cover. Like, isn't she gorge? Look at that. I love the cover. Yeah, I just feel like this is this will be where I start with the author. So I would really like to read this before the end of the year as well. The next question is what are three books that you want to read before the end of the year? And obviously all those books that I've just told you are ones I want to read before the end of the year. But I thought for this, let's recognize <sighs> I just released like the biggest sigh. Okay, I've been doing pretty well on my series goal. If you don't know, one of my biggest goals, probably my big reading goal at the start of the year was to get my ongoing series down to 26 or less. I think I'm currently on like 32. Now, I don't know if we're gonna get to 26. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it might not happen. Right now, what I want you to know is you're going to fail miserably but I would like to try and get close. So I have no plans to read these three books, but I wanna read them somehow. These are all books, if I read this book, I finish off a series. So we have A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown. This is probably the one I'm least looking forward to. I gave the first book four stars and it was fine, but I feel like I've forgotten it and it's long. Like this book is over 500 pages. <laughs> This is a West African inspired fantasy where in the first book, the two main characters want to kill each other, but only to achieve aims that are really important to them, not because they actually want to kill each other. And I did enjoy it. It's a very vivid fantasy. And so I would like to get to the second book in the series, but that may be the least likely. The most likely I would say, if I can work up to it, is Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Yang. Yeah. <laughs> So Girls of Paper and Fire was, is a super important book to me, right? It's a book I read when I was first getting back into reading. Then I didn't love Girls of Storm and Shadow as much and it's been a long time since I read them and I'm nervous. I'm not ready to read this, but I feel like I need to just finish off the series. I need to like lay it to rest, <laughs> finish it off. It's about time! 
our main character becomes a paper girl who are girls who are forced to sleep with the king. The series is about queer girls falling in love, fighting against oppression. It is gorgeously written. I'm so excited to see what Natasha Nian comes out with next. But yes, I feel like I should finish this series before the end of the year. Like it just needs to be laid to rest. And then I've been trying to be really good at like finishing series that I start this year as well. <coughs> Am I crying? I'm like kind of crying. Um, <laughs> I read King of Scars a few months ago, like maybe three months ago. So I would like to read Rule of Rule of Wolves. Rule of Wolves. Rule of Wolves. <laughs> I would like to read Rule of Wolves. That's like easy to say wrong. Before the end of the year, whilst the story is still fresh in my brain, because I feel like I could forget it. So even though I didn't love King of Scars, I feel like the audiobooks for these are really good. I mean, this is this is ridiculously 580 pages. This is why I don't finish series because the last book is like 2,000 pages long. That is a slight exaggeration. It is literally 580. It's not 2,000. So I mean, those three books are not the books I'm necessarily most excited to read, but. I I do want to try and get a bit closer to finishing a few more series. It would be nice. <laughs> Next question is, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? I think these are our two best bets. If we're honest with ourselves, <laughs> the first book in the series was my second favourite book of last year and everyone has been saying this is their favourite book of the year. So I think these are our two like best bets and a book could definitely become my favourite book of the year. We have a few different elements here. I am happier than I was at the start of the year. <laughs> so I feel like I'm giving out more five stars. This is my favourite time to read. I think I often read a lot of my favorite books in like November, October, December time. Like I just love the coziness of reading during this time. I've had quite a lot of five stars this year, but I don't feel like I've had a lot of like all time favorites, like books that just astound me. One of these could definitely become my favorite book. I think Babel is probably best placed to become my favorite book but we shall see. And the final question is, have you already started making reading plans for next year? No. <laughs> 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 Here's the thing, I have a lot of videos that I know I'll probably do in January, February. I just haven't planned out which ones are going when. I've planned out all of December, which I mean, December's gonna be crazy, guys. I'm probably gonna read like 30 books, like make 10,000 videos. <laughs> So like, I can't think beyond December right now. I've planned out like my first few videos for January, but they're not vlogs. And I don't think I'll plan out the rest of January until January. Like I'm not, December's, I just need to get December done. The past two years, I have set a big reading goal every year. So last year it was to read at least 50% uh, authors of color. This year it was to get down to 26 series. And I think next year, I don't want a big goal that like influences what I choose, what I read. I think, I've been thinking about it. This is a little bit, obviously I'll talk about this more and I will do a goals video at the start of next year. But I think my goal is just gonna be to get my TBR under 200 books and keep it there, which I know sounds ridiculous, like 200 books, but I really want it to be in the hundreds. I don't want it to be in the 200s and I'm currently at like 216 so you may think that's not that difficult but Christmas and my birthday in January are like times when I really stock up on books. I don't buy a ton of books throughout the year. Like I try to be very money careful and not spend like loads of money on books so I do get you know my family get me a lot of books for this Christmas in January and that's always been the time I kind of stock up and then like read through them. So it's gonna get a lot more <laughs> towards the end of the year and start of next year. So I think that's gonna be my main goal for next year. It's not gonna be like about what I read, more to just read a lot <laughs> is my goal next year. I'm not thinking about January yet really. Let's just get through December. I'm so excited for all the videos I've got coming the rest of this year. Like some of my favorite videos, I'm feeling so great about the videos I'm making. I hope it's showing that I just like lifted up my belt. <laughs> I was like, whoa. You know, I struggled at the start of this year mentally and I felt stuck in a rut and I hope it's showing that I'm now so much more happy and fulfilled and trying to stretch myself and trying to do lots of fun videos. So there we have it. That is my end of year TBR. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your reading plans are for the rest of this year. Any books you're wanting to read, any books you think could become your favorite books of the year, I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.